Hi, my name is Achilles Jagain. I'm 22 years old and I came to the church at a very young age. And after 12 years being in the church, I received the Holy Spirit. So I started coming to the church with my parents. They started coming first and then I followed along. And I came just for the sake of coming because my parents were here and I was young. So I was staying with them. And after a while, I started coming more and more. I joined the VYG. And this is when I started hearing about the Holy Spirit. I started evangelizing more, being part of the youth group, doing the things that, the activities that were around, and be more in the faith. So I started coming to the church even more, staying in the church the whole day. At the age of 17, 18 years old, this is when I started leaving the faith. Then it started being just like a thing for me to do, that I had to do it because people were doing or people were saying, oh, let's go evangelize and I would just go along just, just to do it, that's all. But there was no passion for me to evangelize or do the, the work of God. And slowly I stopped coming to the church um, the days that I should be coming. Then I, I stopped coming completely. I started working a lot. My job, the way I saw it at that time, was to get away from my problems that I started having at that time. I had an excuse to give when someone was approaching me. When someone would come to me and ask me, uh, can you come this day, can you come the other day, or can you come VYG? I would say, no, I'm working, sorry. So that was an excuse also for me to, to not come back to the church. At that time, I, I was in a relationship. My relationship started getting worse as well because I was not in the presence of God anymore and I knew things would get worse eventually. But I just said, I'm not gonna pay attention to it. Let me just go with what I'm doing now. When I left, I had an addiction of pornography, masturbation, and started drinking as well, little by little. So the relationship with my family at that time as well, I was not speaking to them, like probably months would pass by and I would not speak to them even though they were close by. My worst moment at that time was when my relationship broke at that time. I started feeling lonely, depressed, suicidal. I didn't really go with the thoughts of being like commit suicide because I knew before that um, about hell, about this kind of stuff. So I was afraid to go to hell. So I started regretting the decision I made for leaving the church about being in this relationship. And this is when I, I, I came back to my parents' house as well on that day. This, I remember it was a Saturday and I couldn't take it anymore. I said, it's either all or nothing this time because I know what I'm missing and I know what I need to do. So that day I, I picked up the phone and I rang the pastor. He said, come tomorrow and we'll see from there you know, your life will change if you really want. This time when I came, I said, look, I'm going to do what I have to do. I will obey God. I will obey the Holy Spirit. I made a vow with God to not give up and to have a new identity, if I can say. The meetings when I came, I was listening because before I would not listen to, to the meetings. It's like coming one ear and going the, the, the other side. But this time I said, look, I'm going to come, but I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to go until the end and I'm not going to stop. I, I knew that I had to receive the Holy Spirit and this was my main priority when I came back then. So I started coming, evangelizing again, but it would not be those kind of way where I used to evangelize. I would evangelize with, with a passion to, to bring souls to the house of God. I started making prayers, I started fasting, I started, you know, things that I was not doing before is those things that I, I started doing now and doing it with a passion, with a desire that, look, I want to have the Holy Spirit this time, but I don't want to have the Holy Spirit and then lose it or go back to, to, to the same old life that I was. So inside, I also had to change the anger that I had um, towards my family, 
with people around me. So I wanted to show to God that I really wanted him, that, you know, I'm doing it for him. The fast of Daniel came around and I started even before the fast of Daniel started, because this time around, I really wanted the Holy Spirit. So I was really thirsty and I couldn't wait. And I started praying more, read my Bible, started fasting more. And I remember on a Wednesday, we were called up in front of the altar and I went. I didn't think of what people would think around me. I didn't think of, you know, that people would judge me or would say things about me. I just went there and I said, my God, you know all that I've done. You know all about my life. I, I kneeled down before the altar, and I remember that day. And I said, my God, this is my life. I give you all my life, my, my heart, my mind, but I don't want to leave this place today, you know, having the same life that I had before. So I want this new life now because it's going to be me and you in this life. So that week was like, I was like saying to myself, did I really receive the Holy Spirit? Because not that I, I was doubting it, but like, it was like, I've done all those wrong things, but yet the Holy Spirit forgave me. With the Holy Spirit now, I've been stronger, being able to do the things of God with willingly, with a passion to do it, that is coming from myself, not from people around me, or not where people are pushing me to do things. It's coming from myself. The things of God becomes something that, that you love to do. So the changes in me now after whole after receiving the Holy Spirit is that I can be with my family in peace, like no anger. My family, even they are shocked. Like I'm able to get along with my brother, which is something that I, I didn't. The addictions that I had before, I don't have them anymore. So my life now has changed completely where I can, I am able to smile, you know, I was not being able to smile before or even really talk properly to people. It was the best decision that I, I ever took to come back.